Hi everyone, this is Nibiru Watcher. It is April 23rd, 2017. Hope you're all doing good today. This is a follow-up on from yesterday's video and I finally was able to catch more recent uh, solar sun halos, which are really solar eclipses with the fake sun in the middle and cloud punches. So, but before I do, for the sake of the new believers, the fake sun is a hard one to swallow. So let me show you the NASA patent. Again, it consists of this flat disc. Actually, I'm showing you this first. This thing actually emits the light. It is seen here in an FAA camera being projected through the lens system, which I'll show you next. And you can see this intense uh, light here. And okay, again, so this is that same disc. The light bounces on this parabolic mirror, reflects on this mirror here, goes through the hole in, a, in this round disc, goes through the hole, bounces off this spinning Fresnel lens, and then hits this mirror and goes out to the earth. And then it, then what you see today, from these pictures. And next, I want to show you the Australian, on an Australian webcam, the lens system here. This time I'll show a little more. Here we can see the, uh, let me show you the time lapse video over in Australia. You can almost pick this up any sunny day. And here you have, there is much more to this, but I'm just showing the evidence of this lens system here. Here we can see the lenses, and we can see this object here oscillating in a perfect rhythm up and down spinning around okay and then we can also see it here in another time lapse video here is an, this spinning Fresnel lens here let me see if we can find the the time loop here that we could watch the projection of this spinning Fresnel lens right there you're so busted see the projection because it's going why is it projection because it's going through the lens so you've got the lens system at a lower altitude the sun simulator at a higher altitude and then you've got the planets in between and then you've got the actual sun this is white light the actual sun is yellow so next i want to show you uh, some of these cloud punches that we're seeing this vortex which we're going to see here but as a bonus material, we also see on the same camera, this was taken over in Italy. Pardon me from yesterday's video, I said Germany, but this was Italy. So here we was looking for this object and look what shows up for a moment in time. A planetary object flying by, I suspect it to be Nibiru because of the speed and it left, but that's just a little bonus one for you here. Pretty cool. So again, let's get right into it. Now we have the sun here. And uh, for the sake that we see these, that to dispute the fact that these are not cirrus clouds, these are chemtrails. And look what a lovely job they did. See how clear the sky is? Then they lay down a thick track, and notice the sun just happens to conveniently follow. Good job, guys. You did a great job. The, the, the sun is, is completely covered in chemtrails all the way down. And the point that I'd like to make here is, why is there no sun halo? Because it's the same conditions that we're going to see in the next couple frames. The same. So why not a sun halo, right? Well, that's just a big fat lie. So here... We see the sun halo in comparative photo taking up the entire, almost the entire sky from here to here. See my cursor here, the left and the right? Watch this entire flashlight sun-like effect with this huge moving shadow. Watch the entire shadow shift to the left as we go backwards in time and forwards. Are you watching this giant shadow move? Look at that. Okay, if this was simply... A simple sun halo uh, ice crystals would not have to count for the absence of light 
look at that. Why didn't that happen on the other days? Why now? Because there is a planet that it crossed in front of the sun. And here we can watch the sun halo pass through in front of the sun. And <laughs> if this is a simple sun halo, why it keeps getting bigger and bigger. Man, that's up. Now I want to show you another example of this same object on the same day. Again, look at the date here, January 14th, okay? So why do we keep getting a sun halo? We saw it on the 14th in the same spot on the same day. And now it is the, oh, excuse me, this is the 9th in the same area of the sky. Oh, pardon me. Okay, so let's do the time lapse on this one. And here we have a nice clear day and uh, the planes are managed to put a perfect spray of sun right in front of it. Again, just another ruined sunny day. You can't look at the sun. And here this object begins to eclipse and we can see the rainbow-like effect that they would like to call a sun dog. But it's really just, I mean, why aren't we getting sun dogs every day? Why at certain times? Because it's getting polarized and they fall in the same direction. What a bunch of nonsense, man. Check this out. You get, I, got, I got a surprise for the next one. So we can see the what they like to call the sun dog, which is really the light escaping the real sun from the atmosphere of the other planet. Can we continue to watch this thing set? So again, we can see the movement. When we start watching this, keep your eyes on the entire shadow and watch sometimes two of these shadows. Now, hope you guys are able to see that. Some people are, notice the absence of light. How would a sun dog explain the absence of light unless there is something blocking the sun? Again, this is the fake white sun. Now, here is a surprise. We start get feel vind vindicated because I have seen this with my own eyes. Here is the setting sun. Let's go back in time. Oh, look, a nice blue sky. Oh, wait, there's a planetary solar eclipse coming. Start spraying right in front of the path of the sun. See, those are planes, okay? I mean, you can, whether you want to call it a chemtrail or not. It's in front of the sun, and it's not a cloud, okay? Chemtrails or contrails, it's there. It's not a cirrus cloud. And here we see the signs of this shadow coming in, this huge round shadow of a planet. Again, here's the planes coming through, okay? So not a cirrus cloud. At best, you can only call it even a contrail, okay? So why the contrailing it or chemtrailing it? But check this out. Got to see this part. At this frame right here, you want to keep your eye on this. Let's zoom in on that black spot. That right there is the beginning of a cloud punch vortex because the planetary object is now bumping against our atmosphere and it will compress it one day into giant hailstones. Because that's what compression, a sudden compression. Now watch this next frame. Look at that. Now, it is moving this way. The, the wind is blowing against the, this way. Let's zoom in on this. Vortex cloud. My, oh my. It looks like a vortex cloud punch resulting from the gravity, excuse me, the magnetic pressure wave from the planet that we see causing the solar eclipse. Why are we getting cloud punches during the sun halos? And look, we're almost seeing like a rainbow light colors coming off this thing. Man, they got some amazing excuses. That to me blows me away. That, look at this thing. Right exactly almost where the cloud, you get the rainbow effect to. Right? We're getting through the contrails or chemtrails. What do you want to call it? That, there's no excuse for this other than as a magnetic field punching through. That is the, probably the whole point of this video I'm making today is this series of cloud punches that we see. And as the planet passes through, 
in front of our sun and they the other thing I'd like to show you is the pattern look at these clouds look at these cross patterns of lines that's exactly what you expect from the gravity of our planet the magnetic force field lines of our or pressure zones from our magnetic field and the other planets magnetic field causing a cross pattern We've even actually seen this in oceans. Okay, you've got, I'm sure meteorologists will throw you a lie. They've got to. What are they going to tell you? Oh, it's, yeah, we get crosswinds going east and north and south in both directions at the same time. There's no reason for that. Look at that cloud formation. Okay, there's your interference patterns, exactly what you expect from two right angle magnetic pressures colliding with one another. Put that right in the middle of the of the cloud punch. Also, again, if you're new to the cloud punches, let me show you the some cloud punch videos. Okay, so for some uh, cloud punch videos, I want to show you real quick uh, these examples of these that I've captured from a drone that we see this again. Notice it's in a chemtrail spray too, right? Always happen to happen. At, at when the sun sets, always when the planes just pass through and they're covering up the sunset, or how about this one? And people saying, what the heck is this? I have never seen this before. Old people have never seen this before, and they come up with excuses that this stuff is perfectly normal. Look at that. And they, very rare, oh yeah. Why is it happening every time? Or mo a lot more than often. Look at this double one here, okay? So, anyways, this was a follow-up on my last video. I'll leave links in the description. And see you guys at the Lord's Supper. Thank you for watching.